Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. If you are a Unity developer or interested in learning Unity and you want to create RPG style games, this one could be a good pickup for you. It's from one of my favorite trainers this side of Megan. It is Game Dev TV. They do very high quality content for sure. Now I'm checking this out with actually a preview release. It's not quite live yet, so I want to get this video out as soon as it goes live. So you may find things change around a bit because it looks like a couple things are slightly misconfigured at this point. But if you're wondering, organize into tiers, you buy a higher dollar all of our tiers. So if I buy this tier, for example, I get all of the items in this tier as well. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So we're going to jump right in, take a look at the bundle itself, then we're going to look at how these actually look like on GameDev.TV. This works, you get uh, redemptions, uh, three tiers of redemptions on uh, GameDev.TV where the courses and the assets are available to you. You'll notice here at the $1 tier, you're getting the two non-Unity courses here, which I actually quite like. Uh, you're getting uh, the Create a Drag in Blender course and Blender to Unity mini courses. So if you're just at this from a Blender perspective, $1 is all you got to spend. And what you're getting there is a modeling course on how to create a dragon. And then you've also got a uh, course. I think this one is actually early access, but this one shows you how to get from Blender uh, into the Unity game engine. So that is the uh, $1 tier. We jump to the average price tier, which actually, you know what? It's a solid $1 tier. So this may be reasonably priced this time. Uh, here you're getting a couple of asset packs. You're never going to buy this tier. It really doesn't make any sense. You buy the top tier and that tends to be the way that these humbles go anymore uh, but you're getting two asset packs here the open world terrain pack and the RPG music pack. And on top of that, you're getting the 2D RPG template starter kit, which by the way, is downloadable as part of the course. Uh, but it is also an introduction to setting up a 2D RPG in the Unity game engine. So it is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, and then at the final tier here for $25 USD, you're getting the RPG core combat creator course, the uh, dialogue and quest course, the RPG shops and abilities course, the RPG uh, inventory course, and the uh, personal com or the third person combat course. These were all in a previous bundle. So make sure that you don't already own these. It's just my biggest warning ever. Uh, and then on top of that, we got a couple more asset packs. You get the ultimate RPG environments, mountainscapes, and sprawling valleys. You can see those. Uh, here is, uh, I forget which one. This is one of the packs for sure. So this is the sprawling valleys. Um, you can see here a couple of the assets within it. They're FBX files with a variety of different textures. So for example, uh, with this guy here, we want to give it a much different look. We got a couple of different texture sets to go with. So this is coming with a number of Unity ready assets. They're actually not Unity specific. They're literally uh, just in FBX format. So you'd literally just copy this guy in a number of different uh, setups. So here's a Mesa environment. There is the FBX in a variety of different sizes and then the materials to go with that. It doesn't come with Unity materials, which you got to make yourself, which I found a little bit strange. But uh, so those are, you got those three different environment packs there. So you got this one, open world terrain, you get the sprawling valley and the mountainscapes pack. And then also there is a music pack mixed in. And then the rest of this is basically uh, gamedev.tv courses, uh, which again, I am a fan of. Now, the way this will actually work is when you redeem them, you're going to find uh, on the course, you're going to have these humble courses. Now, these seem to be messed up. Again, I'm, I'm recording this a little bit early on, so uh, I'm assuming that they're going to be configured and working correctly when this goes live in a couple of hours. But what you get is these three different redemptions. Each one of these will have the various different courses in it. So as an example here, if I go into the third tier, uh, we're going to see the dragon course is in the third tier. So either they're going to change the uh, layout of the humble bundle so the dragon course isn't in the first tier, which I hope they don't do, or this guy is just in the wrong spot. But everything, I, I'm assuming that it's all going to get worked out in the end. And otherwise, you can see here, all the courses are available. So let's go with the uh, third person combat course to give you an example of how these courses look on gamedev.tv. Uh, so you got a, kind of an overview of what's going on and then you cover anything. So this one, for example, is covering topics such as uh, state machines, basic movement, uh, melee combat, uh, enemy AI, and then advanced movement, the kind of stuff that you need. Each one of these things is about, you know, 10 minutes in size. So let's say we wanted to look at handling uh, player detection. So 10 minute lesson here. Uh, it's fast forward a bit and then mute this guy. So you see here, they've got the code very readable and accessible to you. Um, you can obviously zoom in and, and change player settings and so on. Uh, there are discussion points underneath. So if anyone has any problems, you can see what uh, people have said about it. You can have feedback, talk to the uh, producer or the author or whatever uh, on top of that. Uh, so that one doesn't have any uh, real info. And here you can actually see that there's going to be attached files to go with it. So this is like the project updated to include this part. So if you're following along at home and you screw something up or whatever, you can actually go ahead and download uh, the individual needs. And I think a lot of the times 
uh, they'll have like a final version. So I'll go to the very end here. Let's see if it actually has the conclusion. So it's project changes at that point in time. A lot of times they'll have the individual projects as you go through it. So it's pretty straightforward. And as you're actually going through the course, uh, you're going to find that it tracks your um, your completion status within the course. Uh, so if you jump back in, uh, it knows where you were. And what you're going to see is this is not beginner stuff in this particular course, which is kind of nice to see. Because a lot of times these training courses are just literally the beginner, straight up beginner level stuff. And a lot of times you can do that with YouTube, good um, referrals on YouTube or whatever. It's the more uh, applied and hands-on things like handling a cinema machine camera, for example, or again, uh, state-driven character movement in a third-person action shooter. That's not something you can generally find. So these are the kind of courses that will actually walk you through the real world tangible things that you need to do to create these games. And again, I tend to find gamedev.tv's um, um, approach and uh, manner of, of speaking and, and teaching is quite approachable. Okay, I just said approach and approachable in the same sentence. Take that back. Uh, anyways, they're much more eloquent than I am. <laughs> I guess I just illustrated right there. Uh, they're a good learning source from what I've gone through. I, I haven't, I don't have the time to do a lot of these courses, but I've gone through a couple of their courses in the past, and I've always been impressed. And every single time I've covered one of these bundles, I've actually uh, always asked you guys, my audience, uh, what you think of them. Have you run through these courses? Do you like the courses or not? It seems to be about 80 to 90% of positive, yes, I like game dev tv stuff uh which i won't say for all of the course makers that appear often on uh humble so i'd be interested to know what you ultimately think of this particular bundle and of game dev tv in general so this is the learn to create rpg games in unity humble bundle again the majority of this course if not almost the entire thing uh, has been available in previous humble bundles so if you've already bought this one there's nothing here for you uh, also, again, if you're not interested in Unity, but you're interested in uh, checking out their core style uh, and potentially in Blender, uh, the $1 tier may definitely be interesting to you for this particular course. So I hopefully this is how it stays structured when it goes live and they get that things fixed on their end by the time this goes live and you won't notice any of that. But yeah, it's three redemption keys and you just sign up an account, click the link, and then it adds the course to your account uh, and then you'll get uh, you know everything you see here. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.